Hello, this is Ryan Turner from VWDiesel.net, and today we are going to be programming keys on a Mark IV. Today, the car happens to be a Beetle, and in this video, we are going to use VAG Taco to retrieve the pin code to program the key to the mobilizer. Now, a lot of times when you buy these cars new, or used, I mean, they don't come with the pin codes. When you bought them originally, there was a little black tag that the pin codes came on, and by now, they're almost all lost on almost every vehicle, it seems like, that I've bought in the last three or four years. So we're going to use a program called VAGTACO to retrieve the pin code and to program the key. Now, you can also use this tool to, program, to retrieve the pin code and program it in VCDS if you'd like to do that. The cable itself looks exactly like a VCDS cable. It's basically just a USB uh, to OBD2 adapter with some special circuitry in it. Now this cable came from my friends at fixmyvw.com. I got this cable from them to use for the video because I thought, well, I'll just buy a cheap Chinese one. You know, they work most of the time and I couldn't get the thing to work with my laptop. I couldn't get the drivers installed. I went and searched around the internet for all the little tips and tricks on how to get it to install. So I just got rid of the crappy thing and I got a real one. This is a genuine VAG Taco unit. You can rent them from their site and uh, by the, when you return it, it costs about $25. Now you have to pay an additional deposit on this because it's expensive and they want to make sure that they get it back. So on to trying to program the key. This part of the process is fairly simple. We are going to take the OBD2 connector end, plug it into our car, plug the other end into the laptop, and now we are going to turn on the key and download the software. Now, sometimes it's a good idea to keep a battery charger on your car while you're doing stuff like this. You would hate to lose enough voltage to the car while you are programming the key. But in real, on reality, if you have a good battery and you're not taking an hour at this, it's usually okay. But I just wanted to throw that out there for you. That is sometimes best to have a battery charger on the car while you're doing this. Hey everyone, now we are on the car side of things. Now, if you look at my attire compared to the first half of this video, you'll see that it has dropped quite a bit, and we actually have three inches of snow now. That's kind of what happens this time of year. Uh, one day it can be 50, and the next you're freezing your butt off. So we are going to be programming on a Jetta instead of the Beetle that was in the first half, because I had a lot of issues with that Jetta, or with that Beetle, and we are going to have to do an immobilizer delete which is good for you guys because then you get to see that kind of video. Um, so we're going to program these keys on a Jetta. So we are at fixmyvw.com slash vagtaco dash programming dash guide. We're going to click on download the software and if you have an older computer like an XP system and you need the drivers um, you can find the drivers here. So once these are downloaded we extract them and we have them here in this folder. So we are going to open up Bag Taco. We are going to make sure that the cable is plugged in to the OBD2 port and that it is plugged into our laptop. We are going to turn our car on. And now we are going to select ECU. If you have a Jetta or Golf, you can go ahead and use one of these that corresponds to your model year. But if you have a Beetle, go down here and choose Magneti Morelli and choose the one that works for your Beetle. So this one works with my car and we're going to connect ECU. Now it may take a few seconds for it to connect okay and now we are going to read the pin code. It is 3826. Now it would be a good idea to write this code down and keep it somewhere safe because if you happen to have new keys you can reprogram them using uh, VAGCOM instead of having to VAG, have VAG TACO which is a lot easier to get. So we're going to go to program key and then we're going to skip the zero make sure that zero is there that's important and go 3826 and we have two keys in this instance and we want to erase the old keys. Okay. It's doing its thing. It's going to program the new key. And then it's going to tell us to turn the ignition off. 
swap out keys, and turn it back on. And then wait five seconds. Okay, now the thing is, it's not telling you that it's actually doing anything right here, but it's doing its job. And if you had three keys, you would turn the ignition on, wait five seconds, turn it off, and then put the new key in. So the bad part about this part of the process is it doesn't really give you any input. So that's why I'm telling you that this is what it's doing. Uh, once you're done with your keys, you cycle the ignition off, pull the key out, and then try to start the car up. And all of your keys should now work. So I hope that video was helpful for, for you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave them on the comment section of this video, or you can just go ahead and contact the guys at fixmyvw.com. They're great to answer questions concerning this. I had questions uh, when I was working on that Beetle initially, and they were great guys to, to help me out and answer the questions. So if you need any help, just ask.